completely ignoring that sense if you can because the clearer you can identify you can pinpoint you can bring up in your consciousness that sense that there is an external reality the more easily you can actually ignore it or block it out and when you block it out all you're doing is you're no longer creating an illusion it's not like you're blocking out something that actually exists because the sense that there is an external reality is an illusion to begin with so you can safely ignore it you can safely block it because it's not real all you're doing is you cease to generate the illusory sense that there is a world outside of yourself. What are you left with when you ignore, when you disregard that external reality? How does your sense perception change? How does your state of being change? How does your state of consciousness shift its sense of identity? When you stop referencing an outside world, when you stop feeling like there is anything but your presence, anything but your preference, anything but your state of being, anything but that which you see. How does that shift things? You can go back and forth if you want. You can, oh, wait a second, he is outside of me. And then you can go back to simply dismissing that and feeling the non-physicality that you're left with, the spaciousness, the state of being that you're left with, the creator seat, that's your creator space, that's your holodeck, it's your creation station. What if you could be in that state, practically speaking, all the time? practically all the time. What if you would feel like that all the time and you would stop referencing that there is something beyond your bubble or not your bubble, but your vision, your creation, that there's something beyond your consciousness. What if you'd simply stop referencing that and change your relationship to the things you see and the people you meet from, oh, they are external creatures to they are my manifestations, manifestations of my own essence, of my own being, they are being placed there by me. They are poppins. They are creations. They are amazing creations of the one that I am. And now you can start, since all there is is you anyway, you can start to shape that. You can start to paint that. You can start to overpower that, overwhelm that with your chosen preference. Until all you see, regardless of whom you're looking at, is what you prefer. Until all you see is who you choose to be in that moment. Though all you see is the frequency you choose to overwhelm your creation with. Feel into that for a moment. What if all you experience is the frequency, the preference that you experience in that moment, that you choose to prefer in that moment? So you can look at me as an example, but you can practice this with anyone. You can look at me, and instead of seeing me speak, you completely ignore me speaking. And all you see is what you prefer to see. Try it out. Can be anything. Can be a state of being. It can be an imagination. Whatever helps you. Now it becomes more and more just a non-physical, instantaneous presence that you experience that is then colored by you. It's not just the presence that, you know, everyone speaks about like, oh yeah, let's be present. It's yes, it's of course it's that because that's what everything is. But it's the presence, but it's infused. It's actually colored by you consciously. It is infused with the creator that you are. It's not just a receptive state of being. It's actually a manifest state of being, a manifesting state of being. It's an actionable state of being. It's a constant presence, creatorship state of being. So you look at me and you overpower me. You ignore me completely for a moment. And this is where it's a little radical because it conflicts with some of our ideas of what it's like to be social and what it's like to be respectful and what it's like to honor the other person. But for the purpose of practice, completely overpower me, completely ignore who I am, what you think I am, what I might be saying, and paste onto me your preferred state so that all you see is your preference, whatever that is, whatever you want me to be, whatever you want you to experience you as. So you maintain that presence as you look at me, or you can practice this later on with other people if they want to. And you create, you generate an energy there. You generate a presence that is of your preference. So you're not receiving in that sense. You're not w awaiting. You're not judging the scenario. You're not anticipating what's occurring. You're actually generating what that scenario is going to be like. You're not in the state of, oh, there's an actual scenario out there that I need to somehow listen to or adjust myself to doesn't mean there is no respect or integrity. All these things, again, like I said, the disclaimer is that you've reached a certain level of purity and integrity already and you know what it's like to be compassionate and loving. 
But g given the fact that you have mastered that to some extent, you can now practice this and see that you can actually paste onto me whatever you want and I turn into that. Why? Because I'm not here. It's not that I change. It's not that you manipulate who I am. It's not that you don't listen to who I am. It's that you become conscious for the first time of what you already did unconsciously anyway when you thought you were respecting the other person by being in a receptive state of, oh, there's an actual person over there. You were already generating that person, but because of your doubts and your hesitancies, you were generating them in confused ways, perhaps. You were generating that relationship in ways that were not of your preference. But that was you doing that. You were placing them there already. Now that you start practicing that which might feel radical and out of the box and even unsocial to an extent for a period of time, it may feel like that to your mind's belief system. But what you're actually doing, mechanically, energetically speaking, is you're becoming conscious of what you're already doing anyway. That's all you're doing. You're not doing anything new.